just taking what you need and leaving the rest for the tree to do what it has to do. Unusual sounds for a late January afternoon. One by one, the Wahlberger family taps into maple trees. We've been watching the buds on the trees, and they are just getting bigger and bigger. And that's the sign of you better hurry up and get your taps in or you're not going to have much of a sap season. The sap season typically doesn't start until late March, so it's more than a month ahead of schedule. A sticky situation for maple farmers trying to predict the rest of an uncertain season. Well, the combination of cold nights and warm days is what's causing the sap to flow out of these trees so quickly. These bags will be filled up by tomorrow. And we'll be collecting tomorrow and we'll actually be doing our first boil on February 1st, which is crazy. And it's crazy how quickly this small family operation is growing. Four years ago, they collected just seven buckets of sap. This year, 800. And each person in this family contributes. I um, carry the bags to the trees and I hang them on the trees. I sometimes like get to taste it. And their syrup has certainly passed the taste test, winning the blue ribbon at the state fair for the past two years, launching their product to a whole new level. It's incredible, but we still do it the old-fashioned way, and we do it one bag, one bucket at a time, so there is a limit on how much we can do. We are surrounded by great neighbors with great maple trees, and uh, all of them have just been extremely generous in saying, have at it, tap whatever you can, and throw some syrup my way. So from this farm to neighbors' tables and now even local supermarkets, the Wahlburgers are just going with the flow, hoping Mother Nature taps another sweet season. Reporting from Manlius tonight, I'm Caitlin Newclass.